Alright guys, alright, alright. I, I didn't want to make this video, but... Oh, I suppose we're going to have to talk about it, aren't we? Democracy calling! Who's there? Taliban! Hi! Yeah, um, okay. So the fiasco in Tal over in Afghanistan is real. Um, you've probably seen the news reports. Um, what, what basically happened? Um, Biden screwed the pooch. Um, as we all thought he would. Does anyone miss Trump yet? Just let me know in the comments if you miss him. Um, 2024 can't come fast enough. But at the end of the day, obviously what's happened is, is that the US has decided to leave Afghanistan. And they've left Afghanistan in a bit of a hurry. And subsequently they, they left some of their equipment laying around. They didn't take it all back with them. The, the, you know, the new Afghanistan army was supposed to come in and take it over. But they were not willfully prepared or notified that the US was leaving in some situations. So, subsequently, a whole bunch of military arms has gone into the case or into the hands of the Taliban. And, in fact, yeah, this is, this is what your taxpayers' money has brought over in Afghanistan. Um, we're just going to let this video go, um, and, and all us Aussies can get jealous because, at the moment, this arsenal we probably would appreciate when it comes to our government. But, yeah, this is, this is what the... Uh, the Afghanistan Taliban now has as uh, as weapon stockpiles. You know, there's a couple of RPGs there, dynamite, you know, vests, obviously ballistic vests, you know, just machine gun after machine gun, assault rifle after assault rifle, you know, more rocket launchers, more grenades, more mortars, yeah, enough to supply uh, an army. I wonder how this is going to go. Um, and obviously people are going through it and making the comparisons to this and, and Vietnam. I think that's a little unfair. Um, Vietnam was not as a, much of a disaster as this is. Um, but yeah, no, obviously they're both, they were both really bad for the US. And yeah, uh, what's the saying? The US has not finished a war since Vietnam. Now, obviously I was all for pulling out. And there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Obviously, the wrong way is you don't pull out as she gets pregnant. Bottom. But obviously, when it comes to war and stuff like that, obviously pulling out, leaving your equipment laying around, leaving it for the Taliban to just literally walk through and claim the city back again. Obviously, this is the wrong way to do it. Now, they are trying to blame Trump for this fiasco, which is interesting, considering Trump's plan for the evacuation was torn up and Joe Biden decided to redo it. And now they're trying to blame Trump. But you tore up his exit strategy. If Hey, look, if you had it kept the exit strategy as it was when Trump was in and you just done what Trump has suggested, you might have had a case for it. You might have been able to pass the buck on this one, little Joey. But you can't. Because you decided to rip that up and redo it. And by the way, him ripping up that exit strategy, which had warlords support, Taliban support, and the international community, mind you, as well as the Afghanistan New Army. By tearing that up and ripping that up, you basically got everybody offside. And this is what happens when everybody gets offside. The Taliban take over and start being in control again. Well done, Joe Biden. So this is this is no way Trump's fault. Um, and, and obviously, at the end of the day, uh, you know, obviously the mainstream media is talking about this. Um, obviously, you have Joe Biden, who was uh, literally giving a press conference and just walked off. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine if Trump had done that? And, and people are just saying, you know, like, hey, Joe, what about Afghanistan? Uh, as he walks off. Um, I've already seen that video. Um, then, obviously, blowback. Top Taliban terrorist is Oba uh, terrorist Obama let go from Guantanamo. So the guy that's currently running things, or one of the high head head shows over in uh, Afghanistan, was actually detained under Guantanamo Bay, but was let out. To go and 
run things over in Afghanistan, most likely. Starting to see how this all might be the design, but anyway. Um, obviously now the, 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 the bat signal, the Trump signal has been put out, a little joke here, has been put out. Now this has been seen flying over Afghanistan. Um, people are, are flashing the symbol, waiting for the, 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 the Trumpinator to turn up and to save them. Uh, unfortunately, Trump was was kicked out of the White House through a bogus election. So, unfortunately, he, he can't attend and to help save the people of Afghanistan. But, you know, hey, don't worry. You know, Trump has said that Biden must resign in disgrace over, over the Taliban incident. Uh, to be honest, I don't I disagree with Trump here. I think at the end of the day, we should let Biden keep going as he is. Let keep screwing things up. And maybe people will stop voting for them. Uh, just a theory. The, you know, do, do, we, do we have to let the world burn enough? First, think of it this way. If we don't let the world burn and people stop this, this shooting themselves in the foot repeatedly, if we stop them before they pull the gun, they might do it again. But if we wait for them to shoot their foot off a few times, maybe they won't vote for Biden anymore. Maybe it'll be a whitewash in 2024 or a Trump wash. Um, but obviously, at the end of the day, the, the biggest thing that came out about this whole situation was uh, was Biden reportedly using a stock photo. Um, so, yeah, this is interesting. I actually didn't get to bring this up. Um, but let me f see if I can quickly find it. Here. Right. So the White House Court, and this is the, the main argument for the article. This is what we most want to talk about. White House Court using a stock photo. Incorrect time differences in images of Biden's security meeting on Afghanistan spark speculation. President Joe Biden faced widespread criticism over the unfolding chaos in Afghanistan after he withdrew the trips from the war-torn area after 20 years. 20 years, 2 point something trillion dollars, and over 20,000 injured and dead, I think it was. Dead, I think it might have been. Uh, the fall of Kabul into the hands of Taliban and the collapse of the Afghanistan government prompted calls from Biden to resign, resign from former President Donald Trump. Biden also faced flack from Republican members of Congress who criticized the president on Sunday for spending time at the Camp David presidential retreat instead of the White House. Could you imagine if this has happened under Trump's watch and Trump decided to go to Camp David presidential retreat instead of dealing with Afghanistan? Holy dooly. I met this uh, criticism, the White House Twitter handled a photo of, uh, posted a photo of Biden con uh, conducting a security meeting with Vice President Kamala Harris and National Security Officers officials over the situation in Afghanistan. The image showed Biden sitting inside what appears to be a conference room at Camp David, conducting the meeting via video conference with several screens displayed a large TV display in front of him. However... This is where it gets interesting. Because the times don't match. London and Moscow only have a three hour time difference in this photo. That, people are suspecting, was actually taken three or six months ago when Russia had not wound its time forward for daylight savings, but the UK had. Um, I think it, that's how it goes, so we'll uh, we'll talk about it, and uh, yeah. Uh, so not long after the White House posted the photo, some eagle-eyed no uh, noticed the time difference between Moscow and London on the digital clocks above the TV display was inaccurate. The clocks uh, incorrectly showed a three-hour time difference between both cities, however they're only two hours apart. The last time there was a three-hour difference in between Moscow and London was back in March, the 28th, uh, 28th of March, 2021, when the clocks were advanced by an hour as a result of daylight savings. 
And can we have Biden using a stock photo for twenty dollars, please? There's led to speculation on Twitter that the image was a picture tweeted out by the White House was either a stock image or an old photo of the Photoshop to make it seem like Biden was acting on the Afghanistan issues instead of enjoying his weekend. So, the White House got caught using stock photos. Could you imagine if Trump had done this? Naughty. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Um, look, at the end of the day, do I think this is a stock photo? Yeah, I think this is a photo from back around March. I think they just cop were f copping flack from Biden. Uh, not doing anything around Afghanistan and going to his retreat for his holiday. So they decided to tweet this out, claiming that he was doing something. Um, obviously to uh, try and relieve some tensions. But whoever tweeted it out did not realise the three hour time difference instead of two hours. And subsequently it's probably been fired now. So at the end of the day, yeah, I definitely believe that this is a stock photo or an old photo. And at the end of the day, yeah. It's funny, a lot of people are talking about Afghanistan, but no one really hammered on this point that the Biden administration is lying to you about this photo. So if that's the case, were they, what, not doing something? Were they not bothering about Afghanistan? Were they just letting it fall down and claiming that they were doing something? To me, that that's the plan. To me, with Afghanistan... I think they want it to collapse. They want it to collapse in anarchy. Um, they will most likely blame Biden for it, and then he'll probably step down. Um, but at the end of the day, they want it to collapse because they need the Taliban there because at the end of the day, they need an enemy. Um, I heard rumours that the next target they want to go and bomb is Somalia. Um, and that's why they pulled out of Afghanistan, was only so they could redivert the horses to Somalia. But at the end of the day, they're, they're, yeah, they're going to let the Taliban build up again. And and then they'll spend another $2.1 trillion going in there and wasting time yet again. Wasting time, money, resources, and people's lives. Because this is what the military-industrial complex does. Let's face it, if they finished a war, they wouldn't be able to bomb the same people five years later. And Halliburton wouldn't be able to make all that money. And that's what it's all about, folks. It's about money. At the end of the day, they don't want the Taliban to uh, to be defeated. They want the Taliban there because at the end of the day, it gives them an excuse to, s to spend money on $100,000 Tomahawk missiles or whatever it may be that they can spend money on. The military-industrial complex needs to pay some bills. No, they don't have enough money, so they just go through and... Never finish a war. Because if they finish the war, well, they wouldn't be able to invade them three to five years later. And that's what it's going to be. Welcome to the cycle of war, everybody. But from that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I will see you tomorrow in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Apart from that, enjoy yourself. Have a great night. And uh, stay safe, everybody.